In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I like to defend formations like trips tight end, trips tight end flex, trips, any kind of trips formation in Madden. And we're going to be teaching this series out of dollar. Uh, and the reason why we're going to use dollar is because dollar is pretty much always good. And it's, I think, the best formation to teach coverage from. We're not going to teach any blitzes today. Uh, we're going to primarily be focusing on how I like to adjust to trips, how I like to cover trips formations um, out of either a Sim 4 or Sim 5 shell. If you guys want my full dollar defense, and the cool part about this is you can crossify this with almost any defense in the game. You can get everything in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. Ten bucks gets you access to all of my full offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks, both for College Football 25 and for Madden 25. But in this video, as I said, we're going to be primarily focusing in on trying to teach principles that you can cross apply to whatever, uh, whatever formation, whatever defense that you're going to run. All right. So first and foremost, audibles, what I like to do um, in dollar is I have cover six Willie, uh, DB fire two, edge blitz three, cover four palms, or cover four quarters. Either one uh, is fine. And we are going to be using pretty much all these uh, different types of shells uh, to defend this formation. And I like to use double safety just to get the safeties in the box. So auto flip off and auto alignment to base, and we're just going to flip double safety go. Now, when you're defending a formation like trips, one of the things that you have to be able to do is you have to be able to stop the seam streaks. You have to be able to stop the seam streaks. So one of my favorite shells to do this in is a simple match shell. So this is out of cover four quarters uh, or cover four palms. Cover four palms, um, what you're going to see is you're going to get a little bit better of a match. Essentially, what's going to happen is this outside corner is going to match the number one receiver no matter what route he's on. And then essentially, if the number two receiver runs a flat route, um, this quarter flat will take him. But if the number, he's going to basically match the number two receiver most of the time, unless the number two receiver runs like a drag or something like that. Uh, but essentially, they're going to play. Uh, quarter coverage between these two. So if the number two, re the number two receiver basically becomes the new number one. Uh, but essentially, the best way that I like to run this is uh, we're going to take this outside uh, or this inside quarter. Another reason why I like this shell is just a basic shell for trips, is because if you take this guy on this inside quarter and put him on a middle third, um, what's going to happen is if this tight end runs a corner route, which is pretty popular you're going to see that this match is going to do a really good job of defending the corner route. As you see right there, you get that outside quarter matching him really well. Obviously, you know, you got to click on and make a play, but he's in the area that we want him to be in. Now, the main reason that I have this middle third is because if the tight end does not run a streak, I am going to typically switch stick onto this middle third. So what you're going to see is let's say the tight end runs – Something like this, okay? And this is a this is a legit play that trips players have been running for a long time. What you're gonna see here is I'm just gonna put this guy on the right side in a middle third, and basically uh, I, I'm looking for this tight end. I see oh he goes underneath. I'm just gonna switch stick on this middle third. See how that three rec will rob down, and then I'm able to basically play free with my middle third. So the middle third is what I'm basically trying to do is I'm trying to essentially to a degree, like kind of bug or, I don't know, adjust the match so that I can have access to a rover player. So you see here that three rec, and then I'm able to see I'm, I'm on that middle third, and then that outside quarter just matches everything. Now, if you think about trips, there's only a couple of situations where the tight end is truly going to be on a, a, a streak. So one of them would be a setup like this. This would be a setup where this tight end would probably be on a streak, right? So if I'm in this coverage right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry him until I can see, oh, he's on the streak, and then I can basically just bite down like this. And as you see, the defense plays as I would like it to play. Again, I need to make sure that I put this guy on the third, though. I don't think I did that here. And as far as the sim 4 aspect of this defense, you can sim 4. Um, if you don't want to switch stick at all, you could just uh, put this, you could basically just use with this guy. 
Um, but in general, I normally am going to switch sticks. So let's go over that crosser uh, play again. And you're going to see here that I'm going to switch stick onto him. And then you see late, I can kind of like, see, see what I'm saying? See how that tight end streak is basically going to get covered by that outside quarter anyway. So that's where I can just say, okay, I'm just going to use her this middle third to cut the crosser. So just wanted to show that real quick. So again, if they do that, you'll see here, I'm going to let that middle third kind of run with the tight end. And then I'm just going to switch stick onto him and go take that. But the main thing that I like about that outside quarter is it just really takes away the corner routes really, really, really well. Now, another combo that is pretty popular in this game is street corner flat to the left with like a tight end curl, something like this. So pretty much what I'm going to do is if I see something like this, remember, I don't have to use the tight end. So basically snap the ball. I'm just going to switch stick onto this guy and go rob the corner. Now, this is the one setup, in my opinion, against trips that can hurt match coverage. Um, and so one of the things that you can do, um, you don't have to, but you can do it, is you can put this guy on the left into a outside third as well, just to kind of protect against that beater. So now if I run straight corner flat like so, you're going to see that that outside third is going to be in the area to take that away. That is the main combo that they can get to that will give this cover some trouble. So I have a secondary match coverage that I really like against trips, and it is out of the play edge blitz three. So what we have in the play edge blitz three is we have these seam flat zones. Um, you can also create the seam flat. So what I like to do is I'm going to seam flat the slot corner on the left side. I'm going to inside quarter this uh, guy on the left side as well. And then on the right side, what I, I like to do is I like to have a cloud flat and a vertical hook. And the reason I like these adjustments is because it gives my user a ton of freedom, a ton of freedom. I can switch stick onto this vert hook. If there's nothing that they do that I, you know, if I feel like I need to switch stick onto the vert hook, it's pretty easy to, but this will handle this, this concept a little bit better. As you'll see there, you get a little bit cleaner of a match on on that left side so again edge was three seam flat quarter and i would probably quarter both of the guys on the left and we'll show it to you one more time this combo is something you got to kind of look for here but you see that does a really good job and see how that seam flat is just a little cleaner of a match uh, against that trips formation so those are kind of my main two ways that i'm going to play match coverage against a trips tight end look now the next defense that I like to go to um, situationally is cover six Willie. Uh, and the reason that I like to use cover six Willie is because as you see here, um, especially if the trips is to the left, we have this guy on the left side cross man. So basically what I like to do uh, against this is we're going to go with a middle third to this, um, this safety on the tight end side. We're going to go with an outside third to this outside uh, to the safety on the left. And then we're going to have a cloud flat. Now, we're going to give up, to a degree, a lot of underneath stuff here. But one of the biggest things that I'm able to do with this defense here is we could get to a coverage where we're basically kind of – it's like a cross-man coverage, essentially. Um, you know, but basically something like this. I think this is one of the best uh, little kind of ways to, to kind of cross-man trips this year. Uh, on that outside, another thing that you can do, it just depends a little bit on the tendency of your opponent. Uh, I really like having the cloud on the trip side. The cloud on the right side is, is helpful as well. You could justify like a deep half, uh, but I don't think you really need a deep half there. Uh, the, the biggest thing here that I'd probably do is have my user in like a middle third or cross man. The thing you basically have to watch out for is if that solo receiver is on a post route or that not solo receiver, if that outside receiver is on a post route, they're probably going to score a touchdown. So, but you need the outside third to get over the top of the fade. And so because of that, you know, that's where even something like this is, is, is fine as well. If you wanted to have kind of more of a, a coverage like this. The main reason I want that middle trips receiver cross band is for a crossing route. So 
even if we were back into this coverage right here, what you could basically do is let's say they run a play like this. You could basically switch stick from your user to this vertical hook, and then you're able to play fairly decent coverage. Okay, fairly decent. But the main reason why we are calling this coverage in the first place is to just make sure that there's no corner route that they can throw on that side. That's the main like per, uh, purpose of calling this coverage is just to make sure that they're not throwing a corner route to the to the trip side. So that is um, that is that is kind of the, the the why behind it. Okay. The next coverage shell that we're going to be going over is a little bit more of a basic coverage shell that I like against trips um, because it's a, just a little bit more of a simple way to play it. And that is to go to edge blitz three. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to hard flat on this left side. This is where if they're killing us underneath, this is a little bit just more of a basic shell. Uh, but we're going to hard flat this slot corner. I like to shade underneath here. And then we're just going to inside quarter this guy. So the reason that I like this coverage show, and if you want to, you can cloud and vert hook on the right too. Um, the reason I like this coverage show is because this is kind of our way that we kind of get back to like a little bit more of a basic coverage. And again, if you get this crosser like this, you could switch stick onto this middle third and take this crosser away. Now let's say they run a tight end streak, right? And they do something like this and we're in that show. And I'll talk another thing about what this shell is good against. But basically what you're going to get here is you get the hard flat out here. Now I'm not going to be able to switch stick onto the middle third, but I can certainly switch stick onto this vertical hook. And I can just get over the top. And you see how that three rack is a really good zone to have just playing over the middle of the field, kind of taking away in routes and drags. Another popular concept that a lot of people like to run out of trips is this double streak concept basically and essentially you know they can do some other some, some different things over here on the right side but it, it's basically this they're going to try to threaten you in the seam streak area of the field this is going to do a really good job of basically taking that away and you don't have to use or anything so what you're going to see is basically all i have to do is just lurk the running back but that quarter is really for that adjustment and for that specific purpose. And that to me is um, one of the best ways uh, to kind of counter uh, to a degree trips tight end. Another coverage that I like to do, this is a send five coverage shell out of DB fire. And the basic idea uh, behind this coverage shell is to roll the coverage over the top of the tight end. So it is a little bit of a risky shell. You can get hit to a degree in the seams, but it's basically what we're going to do is we're going to go quarter, quarter, and then quarter like this or a third. And it depends a little bit on the tendency, but I really like just the quarters. And then I'm going to cloud and I'm going to hard flat. So basically what my user's job is, is my user has to lurk the underneath middle of the field. And then if I see like a motion over, I'm going to put a half here. But and, and maybe a third like this, this would be something I could do. But really, I think the quarters are the best way to do this. And one of the most underrated aspects of this defense that we haven't really even talked about yet is the slant post. So when I see slant post, what I'm almost always going to do is I'm going to switch stick onto this quarter and just take it away like that. That is the best way to defend any kind of slant post concept very easily. Uh, it just takes it away really, really well. So those are some of the different roll coverages uh, that I like against trips. If you wanted to send four, um, there's definitely some value to a coverage like this. I think this is a pretty basic good coverage against this type of formation. The biggest thing is you don't really need this outside third anymore. It, you need it to either be a half or a quarter um, on the tight end side. There's nothing they can really do. Uh, to get over the top of this cloud with the tight end, um, especially with how switch stick plays. But another shell that I didn't get into yet, this is a send four shell, but we're just going to send four from this side. So what we're able to do when we when we send four off of this onto off of the tight end side like this is we're then able to go 
with a little bit better of a roll coverage where we basically have this right here. Uh, this is just what I what I like about this show is uh, this show is just basically Bimba Don't Break, right? Bimba Don't Break, this is what this show is for. And we're just basically trying to say, okay, you know, we're going to make it hard on you. But at the end of the day, there are going to be some openings in this show. But for the general, we're just going to make you have to throw in difficult windows of the field that are are basically hard uh, to get to. So you're going to, the idea of this is to try to get you to have to check down. That's the whole idea of the show. So anyway, these are some of my favorite ways uh, to play defense out of dollar. I'll give you one more. This is like a cross manny uh, shell that I like. So basically inside third soft squat, and then we're just going to cross man literally everybody on the left side. So uh, it would look something like this. And if you don't, you know, you could leave this guy in like a third like this, if you wanted to, and send five, or if you wanted to, another thing that you could do, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, uh, is we would man this guy up here, and then we'd have the safety manned up on the outside guy, and then a cloud on that side. So this is also a, a pretty safe shell that you could get to. Um, again, a little bit more of a cross mini shell, but you're still sitting four, and, you know, you can kind of lurk as needed. So these are the ways that I like to defend trips sets, trips tight ends, specifically in Madden 25. And if you want to check out my entire trips or uh, dollar defensive ebook or any of my offensive defensive ebooks, they're all available in our school community for just $10. You can join today at the link in the description below.